Hey, good day, uh, Facebook friends and YouTube friends. Um, I thought I'd make a video. I've been trying, I've been watching a lot of videos lately on how to make alcohol or really simple. They call it hobo wine or apple jack or hard apple cider. And I like beer. I like the taste of the beer. I don't like the buzz. I just like the beer. And I mean, it's like $20 for 12 beers, which, you know, can last a day or two. I mean, it's 20 bucks every two days. It's a lot of money a month. So I thought what tastes a lot like beer is apple juice. Let's add some alcohol to apple juice. So this is sort of my first experiment trying it out. Right now I have a, a rum wash that I made yesterday, which is basically just molasses and brown sugar and water and yeast. And this time I'm making with apple, but I forgot to buy brown sugar. So this time I'm going to be doing it. This is a four liter bottle. Uh, I'm going to be doing it with white sugar cinnamon and these apple uh, concentrate it really comes out cheap because each one of those little apple apple concentrates uh, they're like 79 cents each so we'll say it's like three dollars and fifty cents there and it doesn't take much sugar it takes like a i don't know uh we'll say two cups because normally the recipe was for two liters but I got four liters so I don't know all together you're probably gonna pay like three dollars for four liters of a of an apple wine you can call it or whatever um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, everything's been disinfected very important disinfect clean everything properly and we'll get on to it okay so now we got I only needed three of the bottles and I still haven't added uh, water for the third one yet. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to leave room so I can, I put the sugar in, put in a bit more two cups you can see at the bottom. So you really got to shake that well. It's a funny color but it says when I was reading the can it's an apple punch so it's made with pear and apple. Should be good. Anything's good for that price. I mean, it's costing so it basically took three times 79 cents now I'm gonna add uh, Should I forgot to mix the sugar and uh, cinnamon together, but I use about a tablespoon of tablespoon of, sh of uh, cinnamon So I'll just and I also have to prepare my yeast I don't like to, I don't want to add it directly in there. I'm going to make it rise first with the hot water, activate it, and uh, I'm going to add the cinnamon, probably give it a better color too, give it better flavor, and uh, here we go, I'm going to do that now. It's Sorry, I, I, I'm using a cell phone to film with, and I, uh, if I put it down, it's facing the wrong way. And I can't work with one hand, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna show it between steps. I'll add the information on there as well. But like I said, it took me three. Always use um, ingredients that have no chemicals or additives or stuff like that in it. Use pure juices. You can make. Welch's apparently is really good for making uh, wine. The grape in it is uh, all pure. So, uh, so we'll do this now. So now I just added like a big heaping tea tablespoon of uh, the yeast. I also added some sugar to help it activate it a bit. Spilt that. Now we'll just let it activate. Okay. 
You know it's activated when it foams up. And if it foams up, then you know that your yeast is good. So right now, that's what we have. So we'll give it like a couple of minutes. Okay, now with the power of, uh, of internet and cutting, you can see that with all that foam so that you know that this this yeast is really good so now we got to put that into I've shaken it got rid of all the sugar cinnamon at the bottom yep just give me a second it's my color on my phone I realized that it, it changes because it thinks it's too cloudy or sunny now you can see the real color that looks a lot better and this looks like a nice glass of like a milkshake <laughs> but uh, here we go now we add the yeast Ugh. okay now gotta shake it again and that's pretty much it. You put on an airlock or um, a balloon, a condom, whatever. Or I've seen people just put the cap on, but don't put it on tight. Air has to be able to, the CO2 has to be able to evacuate from the, the gases, have to evacuate. So you just screw it on and then unscrew it a bit. You, if you want to test it, just squeeze the bottle and see if the air comes out under the cap. You don't want any outborn bacteria to come into that so uh, give me a second I'm gonna shake this get right back to you okay topped it up with the water that was missing you always leave a space because it's gonna foam up and come out the top um, what I'm gonna do now is I need to make an airlock This is how I make a homemade airlock. It seems to work so far on my other ones. These are older pill bottles that I've cleaned, disinfected and everything. And that straw is what goes on the bottom of a squirt bottle that I've disinfected as well. This I don't need anymore. So I need that, those two. I'm just going to drill some holes and I'll explain it after. Okay, so this is how I did it. Drill the hole on top, another hole there, a third hole there, and one hole under here. So the air will go into the bottom, go up, over, and into this one. So this one I have to put water to cover the straw, letting the gases out. I'll hook it up and I'll show you. Should start because I mean it's already bubbling. Give me a second. Okay, so now I stuck it on. And what will happen is, here I'll squeeze the bottle, you'll see the air uh, make bubbles, uh, there. I see it'll make bubbles letting... Anyway, so that is how you start it. Now you have to put it in a dark room, like I said in my other videos. Put it in a closet where it's warm. And it's dark don't put it in the basement because the cold will freeze the yeast or kill the yeast or make it dormant what you do is put it in your bedroom closet or something like that or put it under your your sink in the kitchen if it's not too cold I can't do it in mine my kitchen it's a freezer and uh, Within a week or two, uh, 15 days, you're gonna have some something good. But I'm gonna make an update on it to show you uh, what to do with it once it's ready. Hey, right, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for an update. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, give me comments. If you uh, if you want to see the update, you can always subscribe and. Uh, 
you'll get a you'll get to follow what what other steps to do. I'm gonna be trying and I'm gonna be making other ones too uh, with the brown sugar, and I'm gonna try also the apple jack where you freeze distill it, and uh, I'll be showing all this on my other videos. Thanks for watching.